Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl 71 here at the Life is Strange YouTube earlier today, much earlier today, uploaded an official teaser for Life is Strange 2. Finally, because the only thing we've had so far was of course the reveal trailer which revealed the release date and showed us the logo being sewn into a backpack, which was cool, but here's our first kind of official look and clue as to what might be going on. I'm sorry I'm getting to this so late. I wanted to do this earlier today, but it's kind of been a rough day for me. But uh yeah, let's let's take a look and see what we can infer about it. I've watched it a few times already. So but it's pretty awesome, so let's see. Okay. First thing I notice here is the date says October 2016. Now, Captain Spirit took place shortly before Christmas. We know that. Um, I think it's the same year, 2016. So this, I guess, is taking place before we see Chris and whatnot, before the events of Captain Spirit. I'm not 100% sure on that. I would have to go and double check. But I think, yeah, it's the same year, and being this is taking place in October, this must be happening before. So, yeah, or before the events of Captain Spirit, anyway. So, let's continue. Thank you, 303. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10th. Oh, shit. Now, Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. Okay. 1010 in progress. Now, um, a lot of people who have been talking about this teaser, they have said that 1010 means fight in progress. So, yeah. And from the looks of it, this is not where Chris lives either. I don't, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. So, yeah. Let's see. 452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. Clearly, this officer is seeing something crazy. If that happens. Let's go back here, though. Because something is said. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright. Yeah, Daniel, it's gonna be alright. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, Danny, I think, is the name. People are saying that's the name of Chris's neighbor that we saw at the end of Captain Spirit. So, um, yeah. So you guys know, apparently, people have data mined Captain Spirit and have found certain things out. But that's all I've heard of what people have found so far is, uh, that Life is Strange 2 looks like it might be, well, if you don't want to know this, skip ahead. Click off the video. But from what I've been hearing, Life is Strange 2 is going to involve two brothers. Um, Daniel, which I guess is the younger one, the one that waved to Chris at the end of Captain Spirit after he floated to the ground safely. And his older brother, uh, what's, what did they say his name was? Um... Ugh. Oh my goodness, the name's escaping me right now, but yeah, apparently the older brother is going to be the one with the powers, and before, I'm guessing, before the events of Captain Spirit and all that, these powers that he cannot control killed someone by accident, and I'm guessing that's what this trailer is showing. I don't know that for a fact, I don't know, but that's what people have been saying. Um, yeah, so, hmm, very interesting, but yeah, the voices mainly were saying, I, I didn't do anything. There's another voice saying, um, Danny, it's going to be all right, and then, um, get down, you know, typical police talk, get down on the ground, and then you saw that blast, so yeah. Which knocked the car completely over. Which sort of looks similar to what happened with Chris. And there we go. All 
will be revealed August 20th. Three oh six. Back up. Possible ten eighty. Bring it back up. I repeat. Bring it back. Okay, we need backup. Okay. Just making sure I didn't miss anything more when I watched the trailer before. So, yeah. Very interesting. And we'll get the full trailer on the 20th. So, in a few weeks. Dang, Life is Strange. I want to know more now. But, uh, yeah. Honestly, when I first watched this earlier today, I thought that the person sending the blast was Chris. And I didn't hear the name Danny in the background first, so I thought it might be Chris trying to stop somebody, stop the police from taking him away from his father, maybe? I thought that what was going on is maybe the neighbor who we saw at the end of Captain Spirit called the cops to get Chris away from his abusive father, and, well, since Chris, obviously, he does love his dad, despite the fact that he's being mistreated, and, uh, I thought that maybe being he wouldn't want to leave, he might be using this newly found power to not leave his father. I thought that's what might be going on, but I am clearly incorrect about that. What's going on is there's basically in this teaser, from what I've been hearing from like Geek Remix and other people who talk about Life is Strange, is that this is showing what's happened before the events of Captain Spirit, I'm guessing. Judging from the fact that um, the police cars, uh, the police camps at October. We know Captain Spear takes place in December, I believe, of 2016. So, yeah, but either way, we're going to know a lot more come the 20th, so it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait for this game. Ugh, I still need to get it pre-ordered, but yeah, so excited. I really do hope we get to see Chloe and Max, sort of, but if we don't, I'm also okay with it because... Well, their story is done. It's all right if we don't see them again. As much as I love them and I will miss them so much, I already miss them. I have to accept. We all do. Their story is complete. There is nothing more to really tell when it comes to them. Although they are coming out with a Life is Strange comic, so that'll be fun to see more Max and Chloe stuff. Um, but yeah, we they might be referenced. They probably will be. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we will know more come the full trailer on the 20th, and, well, when the game comes out in September, we're going to see everything. So let's get hyped. We've been waiting for this for so long. Before the Storm was a great in-between, and it was a fun ride. It's, even though it didn't end the best and it wasn't perfect, I admit, I had a decent time with it. Before the Storm was alright, but I am definitely so excited for this, to see what's going to happen. I'm sad Max and Chloe are gone, but it's also okay. I understand. Their story's over. But yeah, this is going to be so awesome. I just know it. So yeah. But until the 20th, when we get the next trailer for it, the full trailer, let's just be hyped, and I will see you guys next time.